Hey guys, it's Miss Anderson. Welcome to week five, day one. Before we get started, I just wanted to go over a few things. First and foremost, remember this is for all third grade students. Let me add that on here. Okay, so whether your teacher is Miss E, myself, or Miss Levine, this is the video for you. Also, remember we slowed some things down. So even though this is week five, we are still working in the week four packet. You should be looking at the lesson that says Lesson 23, Introduction Max. Okay? But please do make sure that on Wednesday, you go to the closest location would be McNair or Banneker to pick up your week five packet. So come next week, we can use that packet. Okay, great job. So again, we're still slowing things down. We're working on math and we're going to be working on pages 240 to 243. Our objectives for this week are I can measure and estimate masses of objects using standard units. So last week we worked on measuring volume with liquid. So now we're going to be talking about masses, which is weight. Okay. I can solve one step word problems involving masses that are given in the same units by using a drawing to represent the problem. So again, just like we solved word problems with volume, we're going to solve word problems with mass. And our vocabulary for this week is measure, estimate, masses, standard units, grams, which you may see just written as a lowercase g, and kilograms, which you may see written as lowercase k and g. All right, so now we're going to get started. So again, you should be on Lesson 23, Introduction to Mass. And again, this is found in your Week 4 packet. All right, so it says, in Lesson 22, you learn about measuring liquid volume. You can also measure mass. Take a look at this problem. Bristol has a measuring cup, a scale, and a bowl. How can she find out how heavy the bowl is? So again, remember our measuring cup that we have here, remember that's when I showed you last week, you would pour any type of liquid in here, and these little lines, they tell us like cups, so how many cups it may be. Our scale, you would put something on here, and it tells you how heavy something is, and then of course we have our bowl. It says, think about measuring the liquid volume of the bowl. Explain how you could do this. So, this is going back to liquid volume. Okay, this is kind of like a refresher for what we did last week. So, if we wanted to know the amount of water this bowl holds, what would we do? I want you to think about this. We have our measuring cup. We want to know how much water would fill this up. So what we would do is, so I can fill the measuring cup and pour it into the bowl. Okay, so that's our first step. We're going to fill up our measuring cup and then pour that into the bowl. Now, from the looks of things, this is a pretty big bowl, so I'm pretty sure that we would have to do this a couple times. So what would happen is we would keep doing that, and we would count how many times we had, or how many times we had to fill the bowl up, and total up that amount. So I would continue this. Sorry, guys. Until the bowl is filled up, I would count how many times I had to fill up the fill up the measuring cup to fill the bowl, period. All right, so again, I 
I can fill the measuring cup and pour it into the bowl. I would continue until the bowl is filled up. I would count how many times I had to fill up the measuring cup to fill the bowl. Alrighty, next. Alright, so now we have, I'm sorry, this was A, not 1. So let me change this real quick to be A. Alrighty. So B, it says, what do you know about the bowl if you know its liquid volume? So if we know the liquid volume, what do we know about this bowl? We know how much liquid the bowl holds, okay? So I know how much the liquid will say. C, what tool can Bristol use to find out how heavy the bowl is? So we know that our measuring cup tells us how much liquid it holds. So if we want to know how heavy the bowl is, what measuring tool, looking at these two that we have here, we have our measuring cup and we have our scale. So which two of these would we use to help us figure out how heavy the bowl is. We already know that the measuring cup tells us the liquid, so that one we're not gonna use. We're left with our scale. So we can just say, she can use the scale. All right, and D, explain how Bristol could find out how heavy the bowl is. So she wanted to know how heavy the bowl is, what could she do? Well, she can simply Place the bowl on top of the scale, and the scale would read the weight. So Bristol can place the bowl on top of the scale, and the scale will tell how heavy the bowl is. Guys, remember, at any point in time, you may pause the video so you can write your answers, okay? Do not try to rush your answers and rush through the packet or rush through the work, okay? All right, so now let's look. It says, when you describe how heavy something is, you are describing its mass. Two units used when measuring mass are gram and kilogram. Remember, those are our two vocabulary words. So these are two units that we would use when we are describing its mass or how heavy something is. The measure of a paper clip is about one gram. So this paper clip here equals one gram, okay? So I want you to just think about one paper clip. You've seen us use them in school all the time. Your parents probably have paper clips somewhere. Paper clips are pretty light, so that should give you a roundabout idea of what one, what one gram is. And if you have one at home, or you can ask your parents to bring you one from work so you can kind of see just how light a gram is. Okay, now it says one kilogram is the same as 1,000 grams. So one kilogram would be 1,000 grams of these paper clips. So if we had 1,000 paper clips, that would be the same as one kilogram. So an object with a mass of one kilogram is about as heavy as 1,000 paper clips, which is what I just said. The mass of a wooden baseball bat or a large hardcover book is about one kilogram. So if we had 1,000 paper clips, the wooden baseball would weigh the same amount. If we had 1,000 paper clips, it would weigh the same amount as this book. The picture below shows different types of scales you can use to measure mass. So here's one type of scale. This one here, you would put an object here, and then another object here, 
and whichever one is heavier so if this was the heavier side this would go down and this would go up and that would kind of let you know which one is heavier this is what we saw up here and you would place like smaller objects like a bowl as such to weigh something this one we usually use with like food if you want to make, like weigh how much a couple a few apples are or some bananas or anything like that and this is probably what you guys see a lot of times at home your parents may have one this is another type of scale where you generally use this for very heavy heavy objects or people to see how much we weigh so now number one says elena's brother says the family dog has a mass of 30 grams elena says the dog has a mass of 30 kilograms who do you think is correct why do you think so so let's think the brother says 30 grams elena says 30 kilograms so if i go back here to what we just read it says one paper clip is a gram so that means 30 paper clips would be 30 grams so if you think about if you have a dog you've seen a dog we've all seen dogs before and we know a paper clip is pretty light do you think that a dog would weigh about as much as 30 paper clips I'm gonna probably say no on that one but I want you to keep thinking okay because let's keep going now Elena says the dog has a mass of 30 kilograms so if we look our bat and our book are one kilogram remember that's a thousand paper clips so if we had three more of these books that would be I'm sorry 30 more of these books or 30 more bats that would be 30 kilograms so do you think that the dog would be closer to 30 paper clips or 30 books I'm gonna say 30 books that's a lot heavier and as we don't know dogs are pretty heavy so now we're gonna come back here number one Says, so it says, who do you think is correct? I think Elena is correct because we're going to say 30 grams is equal to 30 paper clips. Okay, and then we can say that, so 30 paper clips is not that heavy, and dogs are, they're much heavier than 30 paper clips, right? And then 30, oops, kilograms is equal to three, oops, to 30 books a dog is closer in weight to 30 books than it is to 30 paper books Good job, guys. All right, let's keep going. All right, so before we continue, we're going to go ahead and move on to the part two video. So I want you to go ahead and do that. I don't want us to rush on our time. So I'll see you in just a bit. 